Okay, we just uh, watched John Wick 3 again. Uh, kind of glad I did, though. It stood up to multiple viewings, didn't you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like I, I said, so. I mean, there wasn't really anything else playing that we wanted to see, and yeah. we were just like, well, yeah, we we need three movies this week, and I really like John Wick 3, so I'm like, let's, yeah, let's yeah, see, see that, that one again. again. <laughs> yeah, the music was good. Uh, noticed, like, more stuff in it. Uh, once you've seen the story, you can kind of relax. For the second viewing, you just kind of relax and just roll with it and just watch the choreography and the gunfights and just kind of enjoy the the visuals because it is a pretty movie yeah the shot compositions are just yeah. on point i mean every single one of them yeah. is beautiful it just looks like a that scene when they're in that damn glass tower fighting their way up to the top with all the kung fu you know all that martial yeah, arts yeah. all the all the led visual uh, uh visual effects on the back the huge screens everything looked great looked great yeah i just liked it and I think I mentioned this, I don't think I mentioned this on the first review, but I said this is one of the very few action movies that I've seen that actually incorporated reloading oh, yeah. the firearms well, yeah, in was... with the fight choreography, which you don't see in a lot of action movies, but I really like the way they uh, incorporated it and it was very fluid. And I've heard that there's, uh, that there's videos of Keanu Reeves on YouTube yeah, he trained. training yeah, he trained to for do that. like... He live fire trained. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he, he's good with guns and he can ride motorcycles. He makes motor. He's got a company that makes yeah. motorcycles. I picked up a lot more this time. Yeah. Um, this time around, like there was a couple things that I uh, should we spoil. I don't. I don't really want to spoil any. Yeah, of Yeah, don't maybe. spoil anything. Because it's like we didn't spoil it any of the first review, yeah. but sometimes on the second review, I'll spoil it if I put it in the thing. But I was there was a couple of things that happened in the first one that I kind of missed because I guess I missed a line or two of dialogue or something like that. So I picked it up a lot better this. Uh, the second time and there was also like a lot of uh, callbacks to like characters doing things that like other characters yeah. did at the beginning of the movie so it was like a lot more yeah because I think at the first review I said it was just like one big long fight scene which but, but, but there was like actually a lot more shit yeah on. I was watching I was going man there's not an ounce of fucking soy in this movie and uh, then she goes to a sushi restaurant and a guy the sushi chef makes her uh uh, blowfish, because blowfish, very deadly, no soy. And I was like, yeah, there's no fucking soy. So they're dropping hints in the movies. No <laughs> soy in that movie. <laughs> Liked it. But yeah, if you haven't seen it, go see it. It's a good movie. Yeah. Making all the money, I and, think. Well, yeah, and it's like this, it's been out for a week or something like that. And yeah. it's like the middle of the week and we came to see it and it was still Still full. packed. So. Yeah. Uh, and I think that some of the people in there looked kind of familiar and I think maybe they saw it. Yeah, multiple on opening viewings. night like we did yeah. and uh, they might have come back to see it a second yeah. time because I was like that guy looks kind of familiar I'm almost going to say it's as good as, as the first one if not maybe a little bit better I don't know it's hard to say I'm gonna it's hard say to that. rate them and actually I liked it better I mean I really liked the second one too but I think this one's better than the second one I'm going to say this one's as good as the first one yeah and a little bit better than the second one although i like the second one they're all I really good they're all That's really I mean. good it's, yeah. kind of, it's hard to rank them yeah I, I, i'm waiting to see what they're gonna do next I know I'm done. I'm there's, hoping that there's a, there's like a really bad like a, that's not a spoiler. It's a really bad cliffhanger at the end. So I got a feeling that John Wick Four will be John Wick Four Baba Yaga. Probably that, that's what I'm thinking. Because if be. you don't know, because if yeah. you don't know this one, which is called Parabellum, yeah, look up the Latin and see what that means, and that yeah. will for, yeah. kind of tell you yeah. what direction they're for gonna war. Go Prepare for war. <laughs> but uh, I think it's uh, uh, Baba Yaga. I think that's gonna be the that'll next be one. the next one. I think it will be. All it right. probably will because it's not me and change it's, said yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just got done seeing Aladdin. Um, had, uh, what's his name, Will Smith? Will Smith. Will Smith. The genie, yeah. yeah, he played the genie. And uh, it was a live action version as opposed to the cartoon one that they used to have. And uh, it was good, man. It was really good. I mean, it's been a long time since I've seen an audience actually clap when the movie was over. It cut, Remember, they were clapping yeah, yeah. in there. Um, it's kind of reminded me of uh, the old Sinbad movies, like Seven Voyages of Sinbad and Golden. Yeah, it you, definitely had that vibe. It had that vibe where there was some good action and adventure and kind of sinister viziers that were fucking, you know... Uh, sorcerers and uh, good magic effects but then it would go into comedy and romance and it was a musical imagine if sinbad was a musical but we're talking there's a story of aladdin costumes really good sets really good you know, i think a lot of it's all cg 
but it just looked like, you know, pre-Islamic Arabia, you know, with sultans and shit, you know, it's just, it was a good movie. I liked it. Songs, everything. Will Smith knocked it out of the park. He really did. Now, I, ha I, I mean, I really liked it too. It's, I, I remembered, because remember when we did the thing, uh, we did the live action Dumbo, and I said it had been so long since I had seen the animated one. Yeah. Now, I remember the animated Aladdin a lot better than the animated Dumbo. This one is pretty much beat for beat the same. Um, almost all the songs are the same, except for, I think they added one because they fleshed out Jasmine's character a little bit, and they added a character uh, of her. She had a handmaid named Dahlia. Yeah. Uh, so she, that I don't think that was in the uh, in the cartoon. Uh, they, but other than that, it followed pretty much the same thing. Will Smith did a really good job as the genie. Actually, he did uh, some of the same gags as uh, Robin Williams did. Like you know, especially when he's like turning. Uh, yeah. When he's turning Aladdin into Prince Ali. The effects are phenomenal. They though. really are he's very looking, good. Yeah. I mean, some of the set pieces. Yeah. I mean, obviously, even from my favorite part of the cartoon was the Prince Ali song and that whole yeah. thing where he first comes into Agrabah and with all the elephants and all his like, you know, all this yeah. shit and everything. And that was also the, the highlight of this movie too. But there's like a lot of really, really good yeah, and effects I'm, in this. It was like super cool looking, and the songs were fun. It was just like a fun. I could t I could tell yeah. you that this is going to be for many kids who saw this, and you know, young people that are seeing this growing up. Will Smith's going to re be remembered for this that role. You know what I mean? Yeah, I thought he did that a was good like job. a defining like said, role. Yeah, he, they did some of the same stuff that Robin Williams did, like in the cartoon. Um, but live I action, think, though. Yeah, Will Smith put his kind of own spin on it, and yeah. I, I think they, I, I like the way they did it. it. Good. Like I said, the look of it is really, really cool. I think really the first part of it was I'm not going to say it was slow, but they were just like setting up the characters. But I mean, once Will Smith came in as the genie, that was just kind of like then it was just off to the races. Yeah. <laughs> I liked it. It started off like a Sinbad movie for me. You know yeah. what I mean? He, he did some cool shit and everything, and there was some paranormal stuff and caves and, you know, monsters yeah. and shit I mean, like everybody, that. Yeah. I, I think everybody in the world has Sorcerers. seen the animated Aladdin. So, yeah. like I said, this, the story is almost exactly the same. Yeah. So, it's they changed a couple things. Yeah, great it, great for a, a general audience. Uh, you know what I mean? Everybody loved it. I, you know, I was having fun. I was, everybody's laughing, and uh, people clapped at the end of it. I hadn't yeah, heard that in a long time. Yeah, it was actually really, really good. Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we just got done seeing Bright Bird. It's a good fucking movie. It's pretty good. <laughs> All right, it's a, it's a very simple premise. What if Superman was bad? It's yeah. not Superman. It's basically, it's, it's that Super same story. It's like Superman's origin story, like he's an alien that came from space, but and was raised by a simple farm family right um but, but he was a bad guy yeah because you know that puberty kicks in and all of a sudden you know that everything cri goes the crystal hell. calling him you know and all that kind of shit out in the barn and then you know he's getting messages to take take over earth and he's already he's not a human and he's got weird tendencies you know kind of like a psychopathic serial murderer and, and that start all starts coming to the forefront and how scary would that be because this kid is absolutely unstoppable. You're talking about Superman. He reminded me of, this is kind of like, yeah, it's like if Superman was evil crossed with the kid that could wish people into the cornfield. Kind of like that. So yeah. Like, and it's like everyone's like scared of pissing him off and stuff like that. This yeah. was actually, like I was expecting this to be pretty good, but um, I actually liked this much better than I was expecting. One thing about it, I really liked um, the couple, like the kids' parents. The kids' yeah. name is Brandon. Um, they were very, you know, likable, very believable. Yeah, and um, they were trying to deal with it, and there's just how are you going to deal with that? That's what I mean. And it's yeah. like, and they did, and I like they they didn't really make any stupid decisions. No. They did like everybody in this movie did pretty much what it, what a normal person would do in yeah. that situation, and they talked the way a normal right. person would talk. Um, so you didn't get a thing where it's like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Blah, 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 like that. But this, um, really but, briskly paced. Yeah. Um, really, really good gore in this. Yeah. There's some really good Let's gore be honest. effects. In Let's this. be honest. Let's be honest. If something like this had happened, it'd be hopeless. There'd, be no, they, there'd be no stopping That's what this. I mean. And it's like they, they did try, but there's like nothing it, you can do there's in that hopeless. situation. And, and, you know. Because he's like Superman. He has like Superman power. Yeah. And there's something kind of inhuman about him. I mean, there was times where I thought he was going to start eating people, which I think he was tempted to eat people in some of those yeah. scenes. Yeah. And it, it, it is really it isn't creepy. It's not a person. <laughs> it's not a person. You're talking about an, an invasive alien species that has urges to just take over everything. It yeah. just sees humans as bugs. 
you know pretty much and uh eventually yeah. that's when that change started happening it's like you know you guys are bugs basically yeah you know and there I were some like things that is... he there were some things that he did and i thought he was going to start eating some of the people yeah. but because remember I, I can't spoil it can't spoil yeah, it yeah because like i said what one of my favorite parts about i mean there's a lot of good parts about this but i really really liked all the Man, there was some good gore gags in there. Yeah. Really good gore gags and, in And some like, <laughs> what I liked how it ended. I really liked how it ended. It delivered on all fronts. Not an ounce of fucking soy in this. Not an ounce of soy. And something like this could have legs. I mean, I, I wouldn't surprise I you if like I saw I feel like they're going to try and make a franchise out of this. Man, they're if they don't, they're fucking stupid. I feel like they're setting up. Dude, they the are whole fucking universe. stupid. If they like don't, because like I said, it's this. weird because when I first saw the previews for this, I thought, is this like a dark DC? No, nah, you know, like this is dark a fucking Phoenix horror movie, out? man. But yeah, this is like a horror movie. I don't think yeah. it has anything to do with Superman. They just no. somebody just ran with the premise: what if an alien came to Earth like Superman did, and except he yeah, was a bad guy? Right, and and there's no hints that there's any kind of superheroes, and I hope there isn't. Because it's better when there's just no yeah, fucking hope. Yeah, just like running rampant fuck it. What, what, the yeah. <laughs> 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 Because, because that's because you're talking about a horror movie. This is not a superhero movie or a supervillain movie. No, this, this is definitely, this is a fucking horror movie. This is definitely a horror movie. Yeah. So if you don't like horror movies, yeah, you're probably not gonna. I mean, this is a straight up horror movie. In a way, a take on Jason. He was invincible. Yeah, kind of. It's just on a much bigger scale. Yeah, it's like Superman, like and yeah. the Twilight Zone kid, and yeah. the slasher movie. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I, I ended up liking it a lot. I recommend it. It's a good and movie. Like I said, it's only short. It's, it was an hour and a half long. Very, yeah. very briskly paced. No, there, no it didn't need, It didn't need it didn't any more. It didn't fuck around. It yeah. just, it's, you know, yeah, it, it the, just got for right, me the, right into it. For me, the <laughs> length was perfect. It didn't need any more. Yep. That's it, That was good movie. Real good. Yep. 